10th seed or worse. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of upsets today for sure in terms of seeding and just how everything went. <sighs> when, but it is Wi-Fi. You know, anything could happen. Right. So you know it's an awful matchup for the Like, I mean, just like terrible. Pikachu? Yeah. We literally saw this match. Like, it, the second wait, set. <laughs> yeah. We literally saw Sketch Pikachu, went Ridley Pikachu against Joe Pone. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I wonder what, what Solar... I'm not familiar with where Solar Beam is from. I'm about to assume somewhere in China. I think it's maybe... It's a collection of light energy put together into a leaf. Ah, I then, see. Yeah. <laughs> I think he might be a Jersey player. He's a Staten Island player, apparently. Staten Island, okay. So yeah, you don't see those guys too much? Yeah, Doc's Oh wait, no, confirm. I opened Joe Pond by mistake. Uh -oh. No, yeah. he's New Jersey. So, yeah, I figured, okay. I <laughs> yeah. think I've seen him at a, in a few records. But yeah, Ridley Pika is... is Pretty brutal, from what I can tell. I wonder. I probably we're probably going to see a lot of defensive play from Soul here. Uh, I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. Here. You know? I mean, he's at the point where he can like steal a kill if he like really really wanted to. Just like catch it's like Joe Pone. This is Joe Pone playing, right? Yeah. Um, if if like you know he just like messes up once, like that side B, but mashes out really really well. You have to remember for whatever reason, I think it's like with Ridley side B, you can only like mash out using your analog stick. Is that true? Yeah. You can only like so do it like side to side. It's weird, because I've mashed out using buttons before, but the higher percents it's a bit harder to mash mm. out buttons. I'm gonna start. Maybe, I'm gonna maybe it might be mistaken because I'm not sure where I heard that. Mm. Um, and I think yeah, I'm pretty sure it's true. I hope it's true. <laughs> I feel like there's no other move properties like that in the game, so I don't know. I think someone's selling you some uh, some false tales here. But uh, mm. regardless, uh, so far Solar Beam not crushing under the pressure too much, paying almost every single one of these, but uh, Jopon using that one as a very good approach tool to catch him with grab right there. He's gonna try and navigate his way to the other side of the stage. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Solar Beam looking back like, y'all see that? <laughs> I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. And look at all of this damage. 47% for the drag down fail, into down tilt, re grab. Oh my god, just so good. We're looking good. We're looking so good right now. Well, this is going to be some big damage from Joe Pone. Dropping the string though at 29, probably couldn't get any more follow ups after yeah, that one. Like, given gone the for like a four day, I think, after that last after. Um, but maybe he just didn't want to overextend, you know, which is respectable in of itself. Uh, tries to give him the recovery with the T jolts, but is just able to get up attack right through the F smash. Right now, so he's doing a so much better job this second this this second stock. It seems like Solar Beam is comfortable with putting himself in the corner against Pikachu, which I like because it does cut off a lot of Pikachu's approach options and how you can kind of fall on top of Ridley. Just kind of making Joe Pone approach him the majority of the time. And he's doing a good job keeping it super even despite how, how grueling this matchup can be. Yeah, he's really patient in the way that he mixes up his recovery too. Like notice how this time that he noticed uh Joe Pone was going off stage, tries to get like a gimp with the uh Thunderbolt, but right. You know, that's the one time he goes for something as risky as a side beat back onto the stage, which is, you know, super, super easily capable. And right now, yeah, I feel like Joe doesn't have to be approaching as much as he has. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. He waited for Solar, Solar Beam to come to him, but then up smash a rip. And then he I feel like defensively is definitely the way you want to play against Ridley because you cut off a lot of his options. That's back here, and Ridley is massive, so he's just going to eat three of those, lose all stage control. He has to find a way to get back onto stage against Pikachu, but wow, that up B is just so good at stuffing out any projectiles like on, on its way up. That's an excellent job. I think Joe could have definitely gone more ham. Yeah, I, th I feel like he could have gone a little more ham on that edge guard right there because Solar Beam really had no uh, jumps left, so he could have definitely gone deep for an edge guard. Did you see that down B almost connect? <laughs> you know that would have brought him back all the way. To <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I just, I just hope you know that. With the really right good recovery this time. He's recovering high. Um, he's mixing it up well every single time. Up smash, not gonna be able to take it quite yet. You know, Goodly, even though he's not the heaviest fella, he's, uh, you know, he's still got a couple of pounds on him. I like how Solar Beam's doing a good job of neutralizing these, uh, these Thunder Jolts, but I feel like one good one, and if Joe anticipates what uh, Solar Beam is gonna do correctly to get him to clank with that Thunder Jolt, I feel like this is that's the game pretty much. He's just not able to get a hit. He can't seem to land. Wow, the, the, all these frame traps coming from Joe Pono, so many things. That up beat could have spiked and potentially have killed Joe. Just, just, you know, once again, I hope you know that. I just, you know. Up throw should up. do it, is what no. I would say. Um, Battlefield, super control ceiling. Oh no, <laughs> that was incredibly risky by Solar V. But whiffing, getting spot dodge, up smash, big bang, boom.
Joe Paul is going to win Pikachu here. Wins. I wonder if we're going to see Switch to Wolf or if we're going to see him stay Ridley. Because I don't think the Ridley was doing too bad of a job. He's that, he actually seemed very comfortable in the corner. Uh, yeah. Um, the the stuff that approaches that were kind of screwing him over. Joe Paul definitely paced it a whole lot better in this in like the last stock he was like okay i'm gonna camp with t-jolt and once you're trying to land i'm gonna cover your landing options with more t-jolts mm -hmm. uh and then i'm gonna prepare myself to cover any air dodge any jumps and he basically dealt a hundred percent doing just that covering the ground with t-jolt and honestly there's very little that ridley could actually do about it because like right. what are you gonna do put yourself off stage put, go onto the ledge um just you know really really good juggles for them uh from from joseph bone mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so looking at the rest of Bracket here right now, what these guys are doing their stage bands, we have Elixir making a crazy run lo through losers right now after losing round one to some Ness player. Um, beat Enrique the Pigs, the Torrent, Citadel, and he beat Jubs, and he's pretty he's, he's guaranteed ninth right now, which is a pretty insane run right now. He's, fight, he's up a game on stage hazard right now, too, so he might be able to make his way in uh, through losers. Right now, Mouse Threat is fighting Jazzy G. Jazzy G taking out Beast. Uh, which he was the first seed of this tournament, so really good stuff to him. Um, Louis Jesus taking out Dark Blue, so he's going to be sitting ninth pretty. Buddy. Hayes taking out Doobie Dino. He's fighting Bashy right now in losers. So yeah, we got we got a very interesting bracket. Uh, definitely not ex not expecting to see uh, a lot of these players doing this well, but uh, this looks like the upset bracket. That's Wi-Fi, baby. That is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, it, it do be like that on Wi-Fi. It really be like that. Um, game two, gonna be taking it to Smashville. Interesting choice. I mean, honestly, I don't think there is a good stage for Ridley at any point here, but what's gonna happen is if a, every, like, attack chase happens on the platform, Ridley is gonna be able to cover it with his up smash, I believe. Like, he'll be able to cover most of the space, if not all of it. That up smash is massive. So I actually like this stage pick a lot, first of all, because it kind of closes in the space between him and Joe. Um, he's able to, he's got, he's already getting a little creative with doing those up airs to the stage and stuff like that. So Ridley, Ridley takes up a, a pretty big amount of the stage right now. So his approach tools aren't really crazy. And he can kind of stuff Joe out with a little bit more ease. We're already seeing uh, it right there. He takes that first stock. Might have been able to mash out of that, uh, but just a little bit slow with it. But with that being said, Joe Pone tries to go uh, for the extra coverage with the F smash. Once again, goes for it. Does it hit under the stage? I swear I've never seen it hit under the stage. I love that patience on the left right now. Uh, <laughs> never mind. What were you saying? What were you saying? Never mind. I love, never that, mind. I love that it back. I bit my tongue. Sorry. Sorry, soul. I cursed you there. I apologize. Right now, Joe just putting him in the blender right now. Keep him off stage. Mm -hmm. Damn. Call him KitchenAid because he's kind of mixing them. Yeah, um, it, it, the, the corner pressure is insane here. That was such a great offstage back here, right there. Yeah, a lot of he players recognized that he was going for the re grab. He recognized he was going for the re grab. It's going to be a free hit. Got a lot of damage off of it. Potentially could have gotten a stock had, uh, you know, solo missed the uh, stage tech there. And a lot of really players will hold down right there to kind of poke above the ledge. So it's really good that Joe just kind of went for it. He wasn't really terrified at all. Kind of just tanking through all that. And he's brought this game back immaculately after the first stock beat and lost right now. Joe just mm -hmm. playing the game. Right now, Joe Pone's calling out these fadebacks really, really well for him solo. Like, you see, like, even though, like, something like neutral might be safe on Pikachu's shield, Ooh, Joe Pone, wow. That bad roll in, that roll in that I did earlier, everyone does it. You get Pikachu, you get hit by Thunder Jolt, you don't want to get tra trapped in the corner anymore. You say, F it, I'm going to roll. And then you just get stuffed up by Pikachu's F smash. That's you know, like the Pikachu classic. Going under the stage like that is really smart because, like, at least even though you're gonna still have to find a way to get off of stage, uh, uh, off a of ledge against Ridley, you don't have to do it while he does have that invulnerability, right? Right. So you're just waiting it out after mm. you stop. Oh, you come to back, kills. And oh my Ooh. God! Wow, the mix. Does he have jumps left? He does. Wow. Excellent patience right there, making it through the thunder. That was real. That was almost really scary for Solar Beam. And going off stage, I feel like. I feel like he hasn't hit any of those edge guards, especially when he's at such a deficit. I feel like ledge trapping with Ridley is way better because you can kind of call up uh, for a lot. That should be a kill right there, yeah. Yeah, call, just like catching the shield would have also like effectively crossed him up with um, mm -hmm. called out a spot dodge. You have to be ready for those because I feel like Solo's um, spacing for it is always really predictable. He always goes high first after burning a couple of jumps and then immediately goes to that side beam. Um, so like next time like he starts to recover high, I would like to see um, Joe Pone at least be prepared to, you know, cover that option. And yeah, it looks like Joe Pone is almost slated to win this game right here, but we've seen Solar V make the most of his punish uh, 
his punish windows that he has. Right here, he's taking the aggressive approach, staying on stage. I like that a lot. But again, the -smash the yeah, he's, recovering, huh? he's recovering aggressively. Joe Pwn, like giving him a little bit too much breathing room, I feel like. Oh, that could have been a mix. I feel like he could have ended it there with drag down Nair up smash. Oh, that should be it. That's yeah. A good one. Yeah, so there you go. That, uh, definitely some difficulty with getting in for Solar Beam, but Joe Pwn managing to, to clean it up and take it. Joe Pwn been popping off this tournament, being Sketch, Beast. Uh, he beat Hereta earlier. Um, he just beat Solar Beam. Now he finds himself on Winter Side Top 8 versus uh, Visceral. So definitely a very strange topsy-turvy bracket we got going on here, but uh, that's, that's just how it's going to be. Um, can I say something really quick? yeah. I mean, I, I need, so, yeah. No, no, I need, I need, I need, I'm gonna need, like, either Jeff or, or Devin's approval on this. <laughs> can, I, can I say something really quick? It's not bad, but it's not good either. Bang, go check into your match. Uh, also, this is the best of five. Okay, word. Jeff, I am can checking. I say something really quick?